623 now on Daybreak and this morning we are celebrating Western New York and a new place to wine and dine in Larkinville. Oh my goodness, most Buffalo's Lauren Hall got to check out a brand new place. It's a charcuterie spot called Meat and Eat and they'll be opening up next month. Wine and cheese lovers of Western New York have a new place to meet and eat here in Larkinville. Kristen Cronin is known today for her cheese boards and popular local charcuterie classes, but this all actually started with breakfast. I actually was arranging breakfast foods like charcuterie boards for my kids during the pandemic. Every Saturday we would do a different theme and I would post it on Instagram and people were just going nuts over it. Three years later and she's standing in her first brick and mortar location for meat and eat charcuterie. It's at 799 Seneca Street right in Larkinville. I think there's an uh, innovation element to what we're doing. Like I would consider myself a food entrepreneur kind of putting a different spin on the restaurant world and creating more experiential dining. So I want people to be able to come here often for different things. So maybe you try a class one time, maybe you come and do one of the made to order charcuterie boards, maybe you come to the wine bar, maybe you come shop at the local market. So that's sort of what I'm creating, which I think is different than the traditional restaurant. The classroom space is called the Western New York Cheese Academy. It's really designed to connect experts to enthusiasts around Western New York, wine experts, cheese, charcuterie board, um, cheese board making, and also industry training. So I would love to train the next generation of cheese professionals in this space and also use it for events and just bringing people together, letting them meet and eat. Kristen's favorite part of her shop is the custom mural inspired by one of her real life cheese boards. I actually had a dream that I carved the Buffalo skyline out of cheese and that's kind of what launched me into the space that I'm in today. Um, my dear friend Christy Francis, she owns Avery and Harlow, she did the mural so she took the um, skyline board that I actually did for the mayor of Buffalo and painted it on the wall. It's just it's such a great representation of who we are as as uh, Buffalonians and just the city of great neighbors. That's what it makes me feel when I look at it. Cronin is still putting the finishing touches on the space and finalizing the menu before a grand opening next month. April 1st through 19th, we're gonna soft launch be open, so to stress test the system. And then the big grand opening is going to be on April 20th, which is actually my birthday and the city of Buffalo's birthday. We have more details on the pop-up events happening here at Meet and Eat, all leading up to their grand opening on our website, WGRZ.com. The grand opening is set for April 20th. On your side in Larkinville, Lauren Hall, Channel 2 News. Yeah, you know, when I see that buffalo cheese board, you know what it makes me think of? I'm hungry. Right. It makes me hungry. Oh my gosh, <laughs> if I had to choose my last meal, it might be a charcuterie <laughs> board. And I'm just so proud of Kristen. She's been obviously doing this for years, starting with a really small business. Now she is, she's got this brick and mortar place that's opening up. She's the daughter of our NFL insider, Vic Carucci here. So we have a special connection here at Channel 2. But um, she should be really proud of herself for, you know, creating something so big um, with this little idea that started in her house during the pandemic. Part of the family. Charcuterie Mafia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. My favorite. Coming up next on 